any given time in the 5th District, we're looking for narcotics, guns, our most violent offenders in the area. We spot a stop car, and we see another person suspiciously walking away from the field. That don't even look right. Back up. He's backing up, too. Oh, yeah, we stopping him. As we go to stop the car, the other guy ducks off. So which one? Get out on the car. See your hands. Step out the car, man. I got license, registration, insurance, yeah. everything I need. What's over here, bro? Nothing over here, so why am I going to come? No, what, what's, uh, well, I'm asking you what's over here. What's over here? What are you doing over here? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to fill up the traffic. We got on that traffic oh, bag. So I was trying to back up and come this way. During the brief pat down, it was very noticeable. The subject had a large amount of cash in his pocket. We believe the drug transaction just occurred. I got to go get that dude, bro. Now, right, listen to me. I'll read your rights. Once the driver was detained, I was able to get back in the unit to find the other individual. We went, we went, we went, we went, we went. Turn here. Bingo. About to tase you. I'm about to tase you. I'm about to tase you. Get out of here. Give it here. Give it here. Willard, where you at? Get out of your stomach. Get out. Hands behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. You got the other dude? Yeah, Mike's got it. Yeah, he's going for distribution, man. Sit up. Sit up. All right, look. Yeah, yeah, heroin, bro. All right. 1566. You have a uh, available district uniform? Now that I have backup here for the runner, I want to get back to the original scene so we can actually do a field test on the narcotics to make sure it was indeed heroin. Positive. Two thousand one hundred forty-seven dollars. Lower your window a little bit, though. I'm raising my daughter on my own. I'm doing so good. Damn, all she has. This guy had been on heroin for three years prior, but the methadone clinic that he was going to was closed, and he had to get a fix somehow. It's just a sad story. He looks like he's trying to do right by his daughter. He just succumbed to his addiction. Describe the gentleman that you bought it from for him. Black John. Black John. This is the first time buying from him? No, it's not the first time. OK. Let me get a look at you, man. Now, I've read you your rights. It sound almost like you saying that y'all observed I sold drugs to this individual. Correct. That's, that's okay. how you feel? No, that's not how I feel. That's what I know. So okay. basically, I'm going to jail. You are being arrested, yes, sir. With no drugs on this. You're being arrested for distribution of um, heroin. Usually, an arrest like this requires some surveillance to get the dealer and the buyer. We just happened to stumble upon this. So it's a good feeling that when we went with our instincts, we got our men. I'm glad we get both of them today. It was funny. He made me run. We ran through some cars and, and everybody was looking yeah, at each other. Everybody was looking <laughs> the camera phones out. You know? I'm gonna tease you, gonna make me tease you. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. <laughs> ran the knife, ran the knife. You know, they're not dead. I can work with that.